to my channel today, I'll be reacting to the Doctor Strange 2 trailer, Multiverse of Madness. Uh, came out about two weeks ago, but I wasn't going to watch it until it got recommended to me by Liz in my comments. I haven't seen any spoilers, but I do know that Wanda is supposed to be in it, and I haven't finished the season of WandaVision that came out. I think I've got like four episodes left, which I should hopefully be finishing soon, even though they came out nearly a year ago on my channel. But we'll get around to that. So I'm hoping that doesn't ruin too much from the show. I have seen a couple of spoilers, but I still don't intend on finishing it. And I'm hoping it's not too confusing. I understand that for some people the multiverse makes a lot of sense, especially if they've watched all the TV shows, every single movie multiple times, and read all the comic books, or just have a lot more knowledge on everything. Whereas I only have like a basic level of knowledge. I know most things, but I do miss quite a few things because I'm not like a diehard fan of Marvel. So I'm hoping it doesn't ruin anything, but I'm also hoping it makes sense for every fan, no matter what their level of knowledge is in the Marvel Universe. They did a great job of that with the Spider-Man movie that just came out, so I'm hoping that this can work just as well. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. I'm nearly at 1.1 thousand followers, and I really do appreciate all the support I've been getting. If I missed anything, you can comment it down below. I reply to all of them, and you can like the video as well. I also have a Twitter and Instagram, and I'm a sponsored creator on Square Offs, um, which are all linked below. I also have a GoFundMe linked below if you'd like to support me and my channel. I don't make I haven't made any money off this channel yet and I've been doing it for nearly two years and half the money I raise I'll be donating to local film companies where I live in Western Australia and there's some money we're going towards new equipment for the channel. If you'd like to support me even just a couple of dollars really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. I'm also thinking about doing shout outs in my videos if anyone would like to be a part of that let me know and I can try and sort that out and we'll just get straight into the video. Ooh. I dream the same dream. Beautiful camera work. You cannot control everything strange. You Sam open the way between universes. Wow. These movies always get the best I'm shots sorry, and Steven. like visual effects. We should tell him the truth. Is that Patrick Stewart? That sounds like Patrick Stewart. Am I wrong? I do it. I become the mm. enemy. just get moved to June possibly. I don't think it's still coming out in May. I read a thing. First of all, I am going to go through this and do a little breakdown in a minute because there's a lot going on. Second of all, Benedict Cumberbatch was the perfect person for the Marvel franchise. He was, he's been up and coming for a long time. He's made a lot of movies, very popular movies. He was in The Hobbit, The Sherlock series. Like he's been in a lot of things, especially in the last like 10 years. He's become a very big popular actor. So of course Marvel picking him up made a lot of sense. But him having his own franchise and being this amazing makes even more sense because his character deserves the position he's given, the power and the amazing story and the visual effects. Phenomenal. It had a lot more tropes of a typical action movie instead of a hero action movie. They have very different genres, even though they sound very really similar. They have very different tropes and like building blocks that make them different. This felt more like a traditional action movie to me, especially with the score in the background. Normally Marvel has a less intense score, but I'm guessing that's what they're going for for this film. Especially with all the sci-fi elements and all the fantasy things woven in, they probably needed to make it a little bit more realistically grounded because it is so far away from realistic. They're also really pushing for Wanda's character to be the next big thing in the franchise, which I'm not against. I absolutely think that's the right choice for them. She has a very interesting story. She's been in the franchise for a long time. Her act is fantastic, she's well loved and well received by the audience. I also loved her costume design for this. This The visual effects are stunning, there is so much going on, none of it feels cheap or like rushed. I know Marvel is under a lot of pressure under the pandemic and everything to make high quality movies in a short period of time where this would take any other company 10, 20 years. But because of their high budgets and the probably larger teams that work on the films, I'm sure they are able to push it out. I also do think it just got pushed back, but it looks beautiful. And it's got a basic like plot woven into the trailer without ruining anything, like nothing spoiled. I don't like when they share too much in the trailer because I'm like, what's the point watching the movie? 
but it looks like he's just getting in trouble and repercussions of him breaking the timeline and opening the multiverse, which the theory at the moment is there was three things that caused it and they all happened at the exact same time. It was him with Peter, I think, and then Loki with Sylvie and then WandaVision. They all did things at the exact same time in the episode or whatever it was. I know at least Wanda and Loki, they opened the multiverse at the same time in their series. So it's all believed that they all opened it at the same time or it all spun off each other. So no one, all three of them was before of them. It was everyone's fault, <laughs> but he's the one getting in trouble. All the set designs look amazing. Okay, let's go through this nice and slow. Oh, there's a lot of skulls, dead bodies. I don't know if that's a building in the movie. Maybe that's the place he lives. It's like a window at the top. That, I love the symbolism for that with the time being literally broken. I think that's fantastic. Very simple Marvel logo. One looks like he's been through absolute hell. That looks like a wedding. Is it their wedding? She's in a white dress. Good to know she's still in the film. That's Wanda, looking great. See her outfit there, looks a lot more detailed and complicated than her other one. I really hope they don't set her up as a villain because I don't think she deserves that. I think he's got new side characters. So looks like a young woman with like brown hair. I'm so disappointed this isn't the TVA. I wish it was. I mean, they're kind of destroyed now, but it would have been amazing. I don't know who those robots belong to. Terry and that person might be Patrick Stewart. It is rumored that he's in the French He's coming to Marvel. I don't know if this was the movie. Looks like him to me. I watched a lot of Patrick Stewart when I was little. I watched a lot of Star Trek, and that sounded pretty close to what I remember exactly like. He's also in Marvel from the X-Men movies. Whoa, his face is brain palace, so cool. Um, I was hoping it's Loki, but I really don't think it is. No, that's a lady. I think that's meant to be a side character. Funky beard. See that? I don't... I have a feeling there's going to be two of him because that person has different beard, I think. Also very different characteristics. Like in the whole scene of the trailer, well, anyone not really paying attention just like, eh, just him saying a weird line. It doesn't seem like him the tone's off. Just got different hair. Oh, that's a fun monster. That's cute. I love how they've kept his powers pretty much the same. I do like that. I think they changed her hair. I might be wrong. It looks different. She's a fantastic actor. Amazing. Amazing. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Those little things look creepy. Ah! Why does he look old? Is that supposed to be Doctor Strange and like a future version of him or like a zombie version? I know the zombie thing was a big thing in the TV show. The multiverse TV show. Amazing. It's gonna be a fantastic movie. I like how Marvel, well, Marvel's never really been niche, but it's never, some of their movies they used to make were for a small audience. They weren't as popular as they are now. And um, lately, in the last like, four or five years, all of their movies have been like really popular, people are getting really into the Marvel Universe, it's a very big thing. Because they are just doing things that sort are of groundbreaking and like the effects they use and the budget they have, the actors they get, it's all just amazing. It still says May for the release date. I heard it's being put over pushed back to June. Anyway, it's still May apparently, but I did think it would have been pushed back. I think the second Doctor Strange movie will be groundbreaking for the franchise. I don't think it will hit number one on their blockbuster list. I don't think it will top Spider-Man because Spider-Man is such a beloved and well-known character for the last 20 years. I don't think it will do quite well, probably just under Endgame, which doesn't blow up the like, box office as much, especially during the pandemic and everything, because it's a standalone character, but his character is more popular. So I do think it will do quite well. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't ruin anything. In the trailer, there wasn't even really, there wasn't even any spoilers for WandaVision besides the fact that she's in the movie, which I really did appreciate. Um, all the characters look like they're having a good plot and great development. I hope Doctor Strange's partner is in it a bit more and not just pushed to the side because often with like Thor and everything, they really just push the love interest to the side, to the side throughout the film. So. They are hopefully redeeming that. It looks like a big great movie. If I missed anything, please let me know down below. I'm gonna go read a few theories and research anyway. Now that I've seen it. If there's anything else you'd like me to watch, more than welcome to recommend them down below. No guarantee that I'll do them, but I'm hopefully finishing up some projects soon. 
I'm also going to be doing a review on Spider-Man No Way Home soon. Hopefully will be out this week or next week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the links below if you'd like, like the video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks!